as you read in the title, this is a Packard Bell Legend 1540 Supreme. I picked this gem off of Craigslist for zero dollars, and I am moderately pleased with my purchase. Well, my not purchase. Um, this computer has very, very few faults. The outside is almost flawless. There are very small scratches. I mean, that chip. But there really, actually, there aren't very many scratches. There's just that chip and a lot of terrible discoloration. You can see that that is as white as can be, and it's yellow uh, all around it. It's only the front panel, though, not the buttons or anything else that has turned yellow, which I guess is all right. Very odd design for a computer, if I may say so with the bottom mounted motherboard and the riser that goes up with these expansion slots right here. That's a mid power supply also. Uh, yeah. When I got this computer, it was absolutely disgusting. I mean, I didn't even want to touch it. I used paper towels and carried it into the, into the house because it was so dirty. And it was sticky and Ugh, just bad. Uh, I'll put a link to some of the photos of the inside of this computer because it was really bad. Uh, but right now, I'll take this cover off and give you a look at what it's like now that I've cleaned it. I uh, can't really see much in here just because of the very, very odd layout. Uh, there's the bottom mounted motherboard. I'm actually kind of a fan of that. Uh, I wish people still did that, but I guess I can see why. Just, you know, so dirt doesn't collect on it and you know, cause a short or something weird like that. Uh, turned around here. <laughs> Along with the dirtiness of this computer, there was one other problem. Uh, other than the PRAM battery, which was just ballooned. And I don't even know how it was still together and not leaked everywhere. The other problem was that there was something in this power supply causing a short. And I started this computer up once with all the dust in it, which, you know, not a very good idea. I did it anyway, and it ran for about 10 minutes of me just looking in the BIOS to, you know, try to make this thing work. I realized the reason why it didn't work was something in the power supply, so I took that out to our workshop. Took it apart and found one, two, three mice three mice in this power supply. I don't know how the hell it got there. It was very shocking. I'm still amazed. I mean, look at that. There's no holes for a mouse to get in there. But obviously there was. So I fixed that up, cleaned it out, and it runs beautifully now. It's got, oh, what's it got here? Uh, it's a sound card game port or something else. Maybe it's a closed captioning decoder. I've seen one of those on another computer, my HP Vectra VL. Very interesting computer it was. Uh, it's a modem, a, oh, what's that say? Speaker and mic on the modem. Don't imagine I can test that out just because I don't have a phone jack in here. Uh, it's in very good condition, just really dirty. That's the only thing with this. Uh, the operating system, Windows 95, was corrupt, so I installed well, Windows 95. <laughs> I tried to fix it, and it worked. Oh, what else, what else, what else? Um, well, when I got this off of Craigslist, the lady said that, I mean, I hadn't seen this at all. I met her in the parking lot at a Bob Evans in a town, and she said it was a Dell from 1999. I have reason to suspect, I mean, obviously, besides the badging, that this was never a Dell. And it was never from 1999, but much, much earlier. Um, other than the fact that, you know, Packard Bell hasn't made computers since, I believe, 99. Um, there's also this connection right here. I don't recall the name for it, but it's, it's definitely not an IDE. Um... It's like a little slot almost that a floppy drive or a uh, 
uh, five and a five and a half, five and a quarter inch, five and a half uh, floppy disk drive we're going to. So I am fairly certain that this is much older, and the only reason why I'm not sure is because I can't find crap on the internet for this computer. Packard Bell Legend 1540 Supreme. I've got it, you know, in right. Everything, every single option, or uh, every single link on Google is for memory upgrades. Memory, memory, memory. Um, some of them are also for memory upgrades. There are some more that are for memory upgrades. Are you getting the picture here? There is no documentation for this specific computer, specific computer, at all. Um, it's the most bizarre thing. So, I guess I will put the cover back on. Um, I don't feel like moving that. I guess I'll put it right there. I'll, I'll keep it over here. I'll plug it into that monitor that I also got for free, which was disgustingly filthy. I mean, I dragged that in with a paper towel as well. Didn't want to touch it. Um, came with the original keyboard and mouse, which I have up there. Uh, plugged all that in, and I guess I will see you in a couple seconds, thanks to the magic of editing. I have decided at the last minute not to use a CRT, just because every time I watch a YouTube video demonstrating an old computer and they're using the CRT, it flickers. <laughs> And it bothers the hell out of me. So we're going to use this 17 inch LCD, um, it's an HP 17, L1706. I've actually got two of these. My dad had them for a long time. Then he upgraded to, uh, to Acer uh, widescreen something. Very nice. These are very nice. They have lots and lots of hours on them, but they still work perfectly. Uh, up here, actually, I pulled some other stuff down. The Packard Bell mic that came with this. Everything except for the monitor came with this set. Uh, it's got the original Packard Bell mouse and keyboard. I guess I could say this is exactly what the keyboard looked like. Or, I'm sorry, the rest of the computer looked like. It's grimy and gross and disgusting. And yuck. I wouldn't want to pick that up. But I'm going to, just for your viewing pleasure. Let's give this a press of the power button here and listen to the fans go full bore when it first starts up. Not very loud, but you can you can hear it's a, a solid-ish case. I don't know how to really describe it. I'm going to the BIOS here. Yeah, the case is... It's just... It feels solid, but it's also feels it also feels hollow. I don't really know how to explain that to you. Uh, that's because the battery is not there because it exploded everywhere. Let's go into setup. Yeah, it'll think it has the wrong date in here. Uh, I'm not gonna bother. It's got a 7200 RPM max store. I believe it's a four gigabyte. I think that's also what the 4 means on there. Uh, standard CD-ROM drive, 40x, but it's very, very slow. It's not 40x. I can tell. Um, base memory 64k or 640k, so that's 64 megabytes, I believe. Um, no, that's not right. It doesn't have much memory. Let's just go with that. I can't be bothered to do math. It's a Monday. Uh, it's got a Pentium, just an original Pentium, 133 megahertz. Um, experience chipset, base memory. Nah, I'm not gonna mess with it. Just gonna go in and start it. Enter. Windows 95. It came with Windows 95. Didn't have. Um, Internet Explorer on it, but it was all corrupted, so I had to, unfortunately, install over, and I can't see what these people had on there. Not that I would use that for anything, just, just like to look at things sometimes, you know? Yeah. I'm creepy. 
unknown device. Oh yeah, I haven't used this monitor with it yet, so it's gonna be all angry at me. Mouse is working. It's the most awkward mouse to use in the world. I don't understand why they designed it that way. It's got bumps and ridges. It's just a giant ball right there. I don't like it. Uh, okay, browsing for that. don't know what that is, and it doesn't... I never find it. Let's look at what it's got here. Typical Windows 95 crap. Um... I shouldn't say crap. I like Windows 95 for the two months that I ever use it, but it was it was nice. Uh, Windows, that should be the old stuff. Hey, that is the old stuff. I don't know why I didn't see this before. So let's go into... I don't know. Let's go back. Back, back, back. And look at the properties here. 24 megabytes of RAM. So it must have had a what a six megabyte on board and then more added I don't know again too lazy to do math other devices optical audio original performance 24 megabytes of RAM 95 percent free I don't know what the hard drive is in this thing but I'm guessing that was smart I'm guessing it's not very big Yes, 1.8 gigabyte, which means it's probably a 2, and a quarter of it's free. Hmm. There isn't that much to show you on this computer. I was kind of sad to uh, not be able to show you what was on here before, because I had to reinstall the operating system. I couldn't just repair it. So there you, there you go. That's Windows 95 on a Packard Bell Legend 1540 Supreme. Thank you for watching.